I'm Simon Charles. I'm a sound recordist based here in Dubai. Been a long time user of Sennheiser products. Managed to get a set of the WDP to test out on a few projects. It's been really good. It's very solid. It's really good build quality as always. The main difference is that it's a digital system. Still using the normal UHF frequencies, but a fully digital. It just means that the transmission is quick and easy. It's solid. The setting it up is much quicker. You can just do an auto scan, either using the receiver itself or the app. The main part of it is the receiver. Totally different form factor to previous generations. It's more of a tabletop more than a clip-on. But the benefit with that is it gives you full dual antennas. It's the same locking 3.5 mil jack on the side of it to take you out to the cameras. Then you've got a headphone output. If your camera didn't have a headphone socket on it or you just wanted to take a direct listen out of that, you can as well. And then a USB-C connector. Basically, you've got three ways to power this. So if you're running a camera from a USB-C, you don't have to worry about batteries. Also, if you're using the lithium-ion battery, then you can charge it with this. Then on the side, you've got battery socket. So you have the opportunity of either the BA70 lithium-ion battery, or you can just put normal AA batteries. Then on the front, again, a big change is the probably twice the size of display. The user interface is very easy to use. Buttons are very easy to, to press. It displays the battery life of both the receiver and the transmitter. It also comes with the cheese plate, which I've got magnets, so that attaches to the bottom, and you can attach that to either the hot shoe or any other way of mounting it to a camera. Then you get transmitter, which is a similar form factor to the previous generations, but you'll notice there's no display on it because everything's either done on the receiver or on the application. Again, you've got the normal door, power button, and then you can either use the lithium ion or the AA batteries. Not an awful lot you can change on this. There's a mute switch and a sync button. Same locking 3.5 mil, so if you've got mics that you had from previous generations, as long as they've got the 3.5 mil jack, you can use them on here. The app, so once you, you're into the system which you, you want to set up, you can adjust the audio links. You've got mute, the gain, output level, and you can also adjust the frequencies. So you can either put in a manual frequency or you can scan and then you can sync to the transmitter and it will just sync everything across. You can also name the system that you want to set up. You can make different colors, etc. I think the main benefit of this is being able to make all the adjustments from the receiver. Being able to have one place where you can go to, you don't have to go to two places to find the battery life or chain, make adjustments. It's, it's one place where you can go to and it, it's just there. I think that's probably the, the real benefit. The app's nice, but being able to have an actual device, sometimes you, you can't or you, you, you don't have the opportunity to get your phone out. So being able to see that on, a, on an actual device is, is really nice.